right, Phil Kevinitha. Oh, thank you for Hello. joining me today. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having thank us. I was for, wondering what your man cave was going to look like, but it's a, like a yeah. black, a, black abyss. I love it. As Ed would say, thank you for being joined. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, exciting times, my friends. Uh, Good Burger 2 premiering uh, November 22nd. Uh, so I watched, I got the screener late last night and I was like, I had to go to work in the morning, but I'm, you know, like, I'm going to watch this before I go to bed. And man, it brought back a lot of memories from the 90s. I loved sure. it. I loved it. Uh, what do you, uh, each one of you take a turn out? Well, what are you hoping for when the uh, old fans tune in to watch this? What are you hoping to get out of this film? Were they good memories? Definitely good That's a good start. Well, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that it brings you back, if you're an old fan, that it brings you back to the when you saw the original. Yeah, I think then, it was important to us when we were, you know, breaking this script that we told a story that was satisfying to fans of the original, uh, but also that, you know, worked on a pretty high level if you weren't as familiar with the original film. Um, we really want people just to go in and have a good hour and a half, stress-free, you know, laugh and feel better. Yeah. Somebody wrote, somebody just said to me, it did not disappoint. And I was like, that's the bar. That's the lowest bar. Because like, yeah. people have got quite high expectations, the nostalgic yeah, right, expectations right, and the build-up right, right. in 26 years of people waiting for it. So, yeah, it did not disappoint. It's pretty, because the bar's already here. So anything above that's great. And, it, and it's funny because 25 years feels like yesterday also. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Suddenly, suddenly looks like it with <laughs> Keenan and Kel. They look exactly the same. I mean, don't That's they? Right. they look the same, same energy as well. Amazing. Right. Uh, Kevin and Heath, uh, how did you approach the sequel? Uh, like, what went through your minds? And what did you want to accomplish with the sequel? Well, I mean, like we just said, we wanted to make sure we were telling a great Good Burger story, first of all, and, and one that kind of uh, maybe elevated from where we were with the first film that... Um, satisfied fans of the original but that was set up you know we wanted to write set pieces and comedy sequences that were sort of set up for cool cameos and maybe some surprising moments uh we had a lot of ideas about how to incorporate maybe characters or refer to a bit that happened on in the first movie or even on all that or keenan and kel and uh you know at the end of the day you can only fit so much in right. the script but uh we just tried to cram it joke 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 and, and we also were, you know, very aware of how technology's changed over all these years. So we wanted to add that into the mix too. So we just elevated that too. Hey, uh, Phil, how did you collaborate with Kevin and Heath? Uh, did you guys bounce any ideas off each other? Take something out, put something in, or just add it while you're filming? Yeah, all, all of it. And, and they're super welcoming, and it was a sort of easy family to join. I mean, these guys have known Keenan and Kel forever, and. Um, and we brought back so other people, lots of other cast from the original and the production designer from the original. And, I, and so it was like joining that big welcoming family. And then it felt like every idea is, you know, it's like there's no, no pressure. It wasn't like a precious environment for having ideas. It's like just throw everything out and, um, and see where we end up. It was how so often, great, really fun, yeah. yeah. How often did you guys go back to watch the original to get these Easter egg ideas of what you wanted to put in this movie? Obviously, no spoilers here. <laughs> Uh, we, I mean, when we were writing this, we definitely went back and watched yeah. it a few times. Um, but it also, even though it was 25 years ago, like you said, it doesn't feel that long. And it's always, Good Burger's always first and foremost in our brains, you know. And, and we did a reboot a few years ago. Uh, we did a, a, a season of all that where we brought Kel back in and did a bunch of Good Burger sketches. So we're always thinking about it. We're always thinking of bits. For us, it's kind of amazing at this point that we can come up with an angle that we hadn't done before or a joke we haven't made right. yet at the counter. And, and yeah, sometimes there's new technology and there's, you know, beyond yeah. burgers or there's stuff that it, we didn't, wouldn't have joked about 25 years ago, yeah. but it's, it's amazing to us that we still are able to constantly come up with more stuff to do in right. a good burger. And also I was encouraging every department to go back to the originals and, and yeah. so props, there's little props, little nuggets everywhere, costume, uh, everything's sort of inspired by the original, if not. We uh, use the original set designer. The original set designer, production yeah. designer made, made the, so the Bergmobile is a good example of like yeah. a, a classic car and then it was big, it's bigger and better than ever now, but designed by the same person. So it's still got that same aesthetic, but um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's like, it's, it's bigger and crazier. And it was easier to shoot in it. 
And, and it was easier to shoot. Easy that was convertible. we thought yeah. about that. Yeah, too, believe me. I mean, technically, we looked at we we, we copied all their lenses and the, we we looked at the framing and like things you don't necessarily think of when you're watching Good Burger. Like, I wonder how they framed the shot. <laughs> but we went through it methodically, shot by shot, and we're like, what do they do here? And let's do that again. What's so? What's one advice that you gave the cast to bring these characters back to life after so long? <laughs> well, I mean. Kel knows Ed better than anyone in the world's ever going to know Ed. In fact, Kel gave amazing advice to, in the, in the film, there's Ed too, Ed has a, has a son, um, who's very similar. <laughs> and, uh, and Kel gave uh, the, the actor, Alex, a masterclass in what it takes to be Ed. So I wasn't <laughs> trying to, I didn't have to try to, I mean, we didn't, nobody needs to tell <laughs> Kel how to act Ed, right? Yeah, no, He can no. just do it. And, and even when we did the reboot, he stepped right back into yeah. it. Like it was, that's how we knew we could make this movie. Amazing. Is a yeah. Uh, uh, last question. Uh, is there a specific scene, not to give too much away, like you can't wait for the viewers to watch, and possibly yes. to, can we see a third movie out of this? Um, I for, for me, I think people get very excited when they see Ed's home life and they see him at home with his children. He actually <laughs> has a wife and a whole. It's, yeah, you're getting yeah. a little glimpse into Ed's yeah. world outside yeah. of his murder never, is pretty special. Anytime you can show that, it's, you know. And we us. would love to see more of that in Good Burger 3. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully not in 25 years. Yeah. Right. We can't yeah, wait that long. Yeah. 10, 15 years. <laughs> I want to uh, thank you guys uh, today for Press Day, and uh, good luck with the film. Thank you so thank much. You thank so you so much. Great talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you.